What's up guys? I'm the black one here and as you may have noticed I am actually not in a video game right now. Uh, this is going to be a tutorial on how I make my videos. A couple of you guys have asked for this tutorial so I'm going to go ahead and make it. Um, to record I use Fraps. Uh, you can download the free version for well, it's for free, but it uh, you can only record up to 30 seconds. And so I bought mine. I bought Fraps a long time ago. <laughs> like, probably five or six years ago now. So I've had it for quite a while, and I really like it. Um, you can choose where you're going to save your movies to. You can choose your video capture key, your video capture settings, FPS-wise, um, whether it's half-size or full-size. Full-size means it's going to be a higher resolution, which also... Um, is more taxing on your computer. Um, you've got your sound inputs here. Uh, so here, here are the settings that I use. I use, I record the Windows 7 sound, which means the game sound and everything like that, as well as recording my microphone. And then I keep mine on full size so I can have my videos come out in an HD format. And then I keep my video capture settings right around 30 FPS because anything faster than that is not worth it not worth the um, the work that it puts on my computer. Uh, my laptop isn't amazing, but 30 FPS, the videos come out great, I think, and um, it's not too hard on my computer. So after I record a video, I'll take it and I'll throw it into Windows Movie Maker. So go in here, Movies Maker, Windows Live Movie Maker, whatever. Um, let's see. Let's go into my oh external. Let's go into fraps. Let's go into we'll minimize this for now. Go into raw footage. Let's go into Minecraft or er, Mass Effect and episode two. As you can see, I already have a couple episodes there. Gasp. Spoiler. Um. So what what I do is I take videos and I'll just drag them in over here. And uh, as you can see, it gives me how much time the video is taking up and then uh, the actual videos here themselves. So then what I do is I just do the editing that I want to do, add my intro video, add um, maybe cut stuff out if the episode's too long, whatever. And then I go over here to save movie and I select um, for high definition display right here, 1080. And then I click that and I'll just show you guys. I'll click that and it gives it prompts me a place to save. Uh to save this movie, so let's just save it to the desktop. Uh my movie, sure, whatever. And then once I hit save, it'll render the movie. And depending on how good your processor is, um this can take from anywhere from like thirty, forty minutes to three or four hours. So mine usually takes, these videos for me usually take about 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes, because um, I have a uh, i7 processor, uh, Intel i7 2.2 quad core in this laptop. So it renders pretty quickly compared to like a dual core or something. So that's how I make these videos. I'm not going to actually render this video. I'm going to go ahead and cancel it. Um, close this. Sit, no, don't save changes. So uh, yeah, that is what I use to record. It's Fraps and then Movie Maker. Um, I'm sure there are other video programs that uh, can record more than 30 seconds if you don't want to pay for something, but I recommend Fraps just because it's easy and it's, from what I've heard, the least taxing on your computer. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. Uh, more to come in the future if you guys ask for them. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.